Nigeria is the most populous country in Africa, with a population of over 180 million people. The country is endowed with generous resources of water bodies. The span of water bodies within the country is estimated to be 900 kilometers square. This water provides resources for fishery, transportation, irrigation, recreation, commercial, and domestic users. Kano is one of Nigeria's major economic cities, with Chalawa Industrial Estate being the location of many industries. This area suffers discharge waste in form of effluent into River Chalawa, which is the main source of irrigation water for agriculture and sometimes for human and animal consumption. It is estimated that 75% of the world's population, mostly in developing countries, does not have access to safe drinking water. Among the most pressing environmental problems facing developing countries include air, water, and soil degradation. Of this, water pollution poses a serious challenge due to its impact on large economic activities. The problem of industrial effluent pollution requires attention, especially in the case of Chalawa Industrial Estate, Kano, Nigeria. Industrial survey analysis confirmed that 60 industries discharge untreated influence into the river and only six surveyed industries, that's 10%, had primary treatment plans ranging from oxidation tanks to sedimentation tanks in Chalawa industrial area. Also, water analysis showed excess amount of heavy metals such as mercury, lead, chromium, and iron. Studies proved that some selected effluents from industries in Ikeja, Lagos, and Chalawa, Kanu, Nigeria were analyzed and it was reported that the concentration of effluent discharge is on the high side, exceeding the maximum recommended unit. Furthermore, the major causes of effluent discharge into Chalawa and other affected cities in Nigeria could be narrowed down to lack of policies to control pollution, unplanned industrial growth, use of outdated technologies, inefficient waste disposal, leaching of resources from our natural world and natural resource usage. Dr. Adamu Abubakar Sadiq from Ahmad Bello University, Zaria, Nigeria, said the release of untreated effluents affects the natural water bodies, flora and fauna of the ecosystem, and increases the effect on human health and environment. The effect of this water on health, uh, there are so many things that we can talk about it, but uh, majorly pollutants like this have heavy metal content in them, in which whereby the medical scientists and other health expatriates and uh, other professionals know that this water containing heavy metal and other pollutant can affect the brain and it can go and affect the reproductive health that's uh, whereby it can now cause a teratogenic effect uh, whereby a woman is trying to give birth with oh she will give birth with some uh, abnormal child Mala Aliu Ahmed, a staff with Tambrawa water treatment plant said there is a demarcation between the industrial water and that from the bird. Nima ya kachingida ruwane. Atambura kumwane kia iki. So dako wana ruwa ina zuwa ina hatuwa ada na kogi. Kuma ama akwe inda ake masa sakani. Baya, baya mazu kasa. However, a resident of Panshekara area who also spoke out corroborated Dr. Sadiq Adamu that some of their children are infected with some elements as a result of influence discharge from the industries. So one of them died to give him sugar. Um, I do one day to catch an angry. The action that was done angry. Come on, carefully talk us now. There is a hard asba. In case you don't know why, in case you get a jang aluma, I've been there. But come on, my kid, we're loyal as you. In our in the aka some my man chin can't add the name to one lie. But it's on a man. So I'm a magana tagaskia. One no wrong. We're loyal as you. We're going to get a fair direct. Come on, agaba a koi gida rua. Tambura wa wata kaga yana gabas da nanguri kuma da rai gurin yake shiga akwai wurare da ake yin noma na rani kamar su karas rake eran su salak da shauran su duk wannan ruwan suke ja a kogi wa tarijoyi su sun gurbace a kasa another problem found is related to irrigation channel that were blocked up by accumulating waste a visit to one of the tineries in Chalawa area revealed to us that waste from hides and skin processing undergo various stages and generate solid, liquid and gaseous waste. However, no concrete evidence of waste treatment or recycling for alternative use before disposal is observed. So, it is recommended that among the major ways to tackle water pollution and other types of pollution in Chalawa, there should be awareness about waste hazard through concerned civil societies, 
strict legislation and enforcement of implementation of law, there should be a plan to relocate the residential areas far from industrial areas and remove the dumping site to more spacey non-productive land. In Nigeria, most of the potable water used for domestic, agricultural and industrial purposes is channeled from rivers and groundwater. The quality of these water bodies cannot be guaranteed due to constant disposal of industrial effluent, agricultural pesticides, petroleum activities and human activities. Presently, a very little, if nothing, has been done at integrated level concerning industrial pollution, abatement in Chalawa waters and community. Moreover, there is a very little unknown institutional memory in Nigeria on the influence of industrial waste on human health. Thus, government should, as a matter of urgency, adopt legal, administrative and technical measures to eliminate or lessen the undesirable effect of industrial effluent in Nigerian water bodies. Imposition of direct charges on industrial effluent by the regulating agency, as well as continuous monitoring, and surveillance is imperative in order to ensure the protection of Nigerian water resources from further degradation and protection of public health and the environment, especially in this era of COVID-19. Khadija Ishak Bowers reporting from Kanu.